everyone. This is the Crafter Nook with Connie, and yep, I'm Connie. We have a diamond painting we're doing today, and this one is called Snowy Horse, and it is my favorite kind of horse. It's a red paint, or kind of a golden color. It reminds me of the paint that I had many, many years ago. And let's see, we're going to open it up here so you can see it. Beautiful. I think this is going to be awesome. It's a small one. It's 20 by 25 centimeters, which is, I forgot to measure. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, about seven and a half by, let's see, nine and a half. 7 by 9. That's not too bad. It does have a few rivers, which that's not a big deal. I'll take care of those. It is 30 colors. It is a full square. We have a normal kit, a nice big chunk of wax, a boat with a funnel. We have a single placer, some baggies, and some little tweezers. We also have, and I really like this, we have a printed legend. Let's see, so we have 30 colors, we have your symbols. This is really clear. It tells you, um, it says drill number, which actually these are DMC numbers, which is good. It tells you how many packages of each one you have. And then it tells you how many drills you need of each color. So the first one here, number 159, you have two packages and there should be 270 pieces that are needed to complete the puzzle. Let's see. Down here, drill number 310, 3865, and 52. Three colors have big bags. One small bag is 200 pieces. A big bag is 1,000 pieces. Wow. Interesting. I don't believe I've noticed that on any of them before. So there's that. Let's stick you right here. And by the way, that is a really good picture of what it's going to look like. Come on, get under there. Right there. Now we're going to, and I'm just going to dump them out because they're not attached. Okay. Woohoo! Look at the colors. Okay, wow. Alright, so this one here is number 3756, and these are almost holographic on there. So we've got all oh, kinds of blues and grays, several browns, kind of a reddish brick color. Look at that. Gorgeous colors. Just gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this kitted up and ready to go, and I'll be back in just a few minutes, and we'll get started. All right, before I get started on the painting itself, I want to get rid of these rivers, and it's pretty simple. Take a uh, X-Acto knife and just run right along with the river and that puts a little score in the bubble because that's what the rivers are and after you've got them scored and this one has quite a few down here on the bottom I already did the ones on the top and then I just go back and do little um, diagonal slices does not you don't want to press hard because then you're going to uh, mess up the canvas. But this will not hurt it because this just scores the bubble in the double-sided tape, which this one is. That's one of the reasons I like a poured glue. Once you get that done, and I cover it back up, and on this one I just use the back of my facto and I just press just run along it. Everywhere that I've scored that. And 
then you press, pull it up, and you can, whoops, you, know, you can see if that will stay out of the way, which it's not. There we go. Okay. Anyway, they were right in here, and now they're all smooth. So, simple as to me. Okay. And you know me, I got to start with the very top left corner. And I don't really care for the tweezers that was came with the kit, but I do like my ever moments. So I use those on almost all of my squares. Just wanted to give you a bit of an update here. I've got the background on the top just about done. Got a, just a few more to do here and another color. So I'm just about done with the background and the, well I've done the background and I'm doing the foreground. Well I have returned way ahead as I was watching the movie and not filming of course. my gosh. I think he is gorgeous. Wow. He looks super framed. Alright, thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm so glad you could stop by. Hope to see you again soon because there will be more to come. Mm -hmm.